We are here at Thrillville. It's the opening night. Honestly, it just opened. I really thought there would be more cars. There's like, I'm sure those are all the workers. So guess, there's like 10 people. All right, so this is a car, uh, traveling carnival. I never heard of it before, but I saw it like advertised on TV this week. $10 general admission, $10 parking. So yeah, let's see what it's like. All right, so they have three lines, cash, online, or credit card. Oh, and my fingers are already, and they have these great guys on stilts. That was very interesting. So it is a weekday. This could be why it is not busy whatsoever. But it's opening day. Let's see. Corn dogs. Tickets. They also, you can get a wristband for like unlimited rides. So it was actually really good, but it's a good deal. That smells good. Tickets over there. Any day armband, $35. Weekday armband, $30. Deep fried Oreos. Does the, do they have deep? Oh my God! They have deep fried Twinkies. What? I need that. I need that in my life. <laughs> so I. So this is kind of like advertised, like a step above a typical carnival. No, this is a carnival. This is definitely a carnival. But they have a petting zoo, so that might make it. And they have entertainment. Like, look, there's gonna be a bike, a guy riding a bike, and a. Dome, that's classic. That's the Dome of Death. Dome of Death, that's classic right there. Carnival rides. Yeah, look at that. It's like super that's, is that even legal anymore? I'm sure it's like, until it falls down. <laughs> until someone. It looks pretty solid to me. There's no one on it. Yeah. Do you want to ride that? No. No. We're not ride people. If you want ride reviews, they have a haunted house? this is not for you. I don't know. We oh. just started walking. There it looks like there's buildings over there. There's a lighthouse dive. I don't know what that means. That's the kitty version of that ride. Yeah, yeah. The duck pond. That was a huge duck. Oh, it's you gotta put the ring around the duck head. I've seen this. We've okay. never played this. I've seen it. Petting zoo, we do love. Thorn Thorny Ridge Exotics. I don't know that this is a new petting zoo. I have not I'm not familiar I'm with this dog. one. We're, we'll come back. I, mean, they might have I, I wanna walk, I want, we'll come back. Let's finish the loop and then we'll come back. I'm doing a quick tour before it gets crazy crowded. It is gonna get busy, maybe. I don't know, there's not a lot going on in St. Louis right now. So I thought this would be, they had good commercials. And it, yes, 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 we're gonna come back, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Stop getting distracted, we're gonna come back. Oh my God, they have baby, I do not look. They have baby ostriches. I promise you we're gonna come back. But, um, oh my God, they have baby ostriches. This uh, camel ride, $10, you can ride a camel. This, pretty sure I remember this when I was a kid and it's probably the same one from when I was a kid. This caterpillar is crazy looking. Look at this caterpillar. Did you ever ride this one? And look at that Ferris wheel. That is a nice looking Ferris wheel. And they have the fun slide. I would do that. I would ride, how do you get to the top? Oh, okay. I see the ladder on the left. Monster truck. There's something over there. Something, there's another one of those cars. I remember that as a kid, but the main, the, when I was a kid growing up in Illinois, there, we always had a carnival and it was always in September for our Oktoberfest. And yes, our Oktoberfest was never in October. I don't know why. Did you have school picnics? Yes, we had school picnics. Did they have rides? No, we did oh, not have we, rides or like school our, picnics. This was like our school picnic. This was your school picnic? Yeah. So at that ride. Oktoberfest every year, they had carnival rides. And the Scrambler is what I remember. I loved riding the Scrambler. I don't see one yet. I'm sure they've done one. They have to. That's like classic. This is, they really like cars. This is the third one I've seen with cars. There's more food. There's some lemonade. Corn dogs, nachos, lemonade. Do they have strawberry lemonade? Um. I swear to God, I thought I watched a movie that was just like this. This is a little. And then what happened? Was it a scary movie? 
Was the carnival like zombies? I don't want to get she turned, okay. So this was one of your late night when yeah, Jenny's in bed. Me. Robert watches Twilight Zone and Alfred Hitchcock. So four tickets is $6. So this one, okay, so you need to get an armband. Four tickets is $6. This Ferris wheel costs six tickets. So really, you just need to buy an armband. That's the way to go. Oh, yeah, they are. Paul Bunyan Lumber. That kind of looks like Paul Bunyan sitting in the back back there. All right, this one... Enterprise. That's oh, that's like that's the one that Six News got rid of. Yeah, it is. <sighs> that one looks neat. I don't know what that one is. Yes, you do. That's the one where the bottom drops out. Yes, okay. and your Six Flags had that one too. You're pushed against the wall because of what is that word? Centrifugal force. This looks like the exact same from over there. That's a little bit disappointing. Right. So all the food stations look the same. I'm thinking we might need to get wristbands. I know this roller coaster is actually looking pretty impressive. You don't you don't see that at a normal carnival for sure. That's not sounding suspicious at all. So I would say, and it's even called the centrifuge. The octopus. I don't remember the octopus. No, it's the spider, honey. Get it right. This is the spider. We had one. You had six flags. I think it was Momo the monster. Momo, that was six flags? Yeah, I think so. It's a Ooh. Momo. It's a mountain. Mighty Mouse Coaster. Sizzler. That's like the fun. Sizzler that kind of looks like a scrambler. It looks like a scrambler. That, that looks like the scrambler there. And I was hoping there would be some classic coin pushers. The, um, the, I, the October Fest I grew up there, there was the classic coin pushers. There was always like a trailer with coin pushers on it. I was hoping they'd have that here. So what is this one? Bumper car? Oh my God, they even have classic bumper cars. Wow. That's, That's <laughs> we, could, we could ride the bumper cars by ourselves at this point. Tilt-a-whirl. Okay, so now they have a second center, this zero gravity. So I guess if you are done with the first one. So, there you go. Ring, ring a toss that you can never win. Oh, that one you can actually pay cash on, so. Basketball. Basketball. <laughs> Mega drum, water bubbles, water bubbles, and finally the music. Only, only one guy is doing. No, I'm not doing a water bubble. Did I? Surely there's a weight limit on that, right? There has to be a weight limit. So it's literally on water. I don't know. I feel like this is for kids. I'm pretty sure I would sink. Yeah, that's like in two inches of water. I. That's two inches of water. There's. I would two sink. Inches. Look at that water. That's Two feet. Okay, that's not more than a foot. That would. That has to be a weight limit. One foot. One. Okay, so I don't have a ruler on me, but you have to admit that's pretty shallow. You get in that, and you're just gonna, <laughs> and then you're just gonna sink. <laughs> Break a plate. Balloon pop. Fried Oreos. Yeah, I'm not. All right. Break a plate. They're all looking at us. All right, what do you want to do? Get something to drink? I have the bottle of water. You're going to drink that first. Here, drink the water. Okay, just drink your water real quick. And then we'll get our lemonade. This one is, El I'm looking, elephant ears, $8, topping $2. Um, an elephant ear is like a funnel cake, but it's a flat. It's basically pie dough fried, and then they put fried sugar on it. Fried sugar, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cinnamon sugar. It's a fried pie dough. You know what I mean? They don't have a picture of it. You've never heard of an elephant ear? I don't know what we call them. Basically, it's an American churro. <laughs> right? 
right? Pretty sure churros is an American thing too, but it's the same. Candied apples. All right, we did one complete loop. And no, no um, coin pushers. Where's the oddity house? There was no oddity house. I'm sorry. Sorry, honey. All right. Now we're gonna pick out what food we want because we have not eaten. All right, lemonade. We'll get a. We will get lemonade. I don't need lemonade. I water. That water ain't gonna last. We're gonna get it lemonade. We're hoping someone has a strawberry lemonade. Yeah, but the back spin on it. There are no games here at all that we can do. No, I meant games that we could win. I know there's plenty of games, Robert. This is the sweet one. Oh, I was really hoping there'd be more food choices than this. Yeah, uh, I was like, so what do you want? I don't know. So this one is corn, turkey leg. Of course they've got turkey. No, I do not want corn. Okay. They have turkey legs. No, I do not want a turkey leg. I'm going to have to get a fried Twinkie. I mean, there's, there's, after I get a corn dog, I mean, it's how we made it. I don't know. I watched that carnival eats on the Food Network and all those carnivals he goes to has like way more choices than this. So they have this same cart like repeated five times. You can't get like a different food truck? What are you thinking, honey? Sausage, chicken strips, Philly cheesecake, cheeseburger, hot dog, jumbo corn dog, french fries, cheese fries. Darn it. Darn it. I was hoping there'd be a little more than this. <coughs> There's not. They have all the food. No, they don't have all the carnival food. I see. All right, I went with the fried Twinkies for seven and the mozzarella sticks for seven. They do not have fried pickles. I just noticed that. What? I was just looking at that sign. Not that I wanted fried pickles, but. a lot of mozzarella sticks. Robert's gonna have to eat some even though he didn't want any. One Twinkie for seven dollars. One Twinkie. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I expected. Just just an observation. I'm not complaining. What, were you th what do you think a good price for it is? Two dollars. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You're a little unreasonable. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So they do have fresh squeezed lemonade and you can get strawberry this size cup for eight dollars. I think that's a pretty good deal. I also have a huge bucket for the family, but that's enough for us. All right, so this ride is called the cliffhanger. And you lay down like you're flying. It looks very intriguing. We're gonna watch this. Because it seems to be the most popular one. There's like a long line. You don't see this anywhere. No, I've never seen this one before. It's pretty. Oh, there's that stilts guy. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I want to see how high it goes because this might be something I would consider. It's like you're hang gliding without really hang gliding. It looks like new, like it is pretty cool. All right, it's not going too crazy high. I could do this. I could ride this. It's a nice breeze too. Yeah, this is a good place to stand. <laughs> Get a nice breeze because it is hot. It is very hot. It's July, like July seventh. It's like 90 degrees right now, so this machine is generating a very nice breeze. People don't ride too, don't they? I mean, it takes up, it's not over yet. It's, it's only been a minute. But it does seem like a long time when you're writing. <laughs> Alright, so a minute and a half. That's
that's not bad. Oh, I see. It doesn't keep turning. That's goes down. All right. That's that's really cool. All right, let's go see how much this one costs, just for anyone watching interested. Year-old California sea lion, Zoe. You see, Zoe here comes to our family with a really sad story. Zoe was a beached, stranded sea lion. What that means is she was no longer capable of caring for herself, either due to injury, illness, or she may have become a victim of pollution. Speaking of pollution... Can you tell I'm hot and my eyes are watering? Um, that was really fun. I do recommend Thrillville. Uh, I just, I hope it gets more busy. I kind of feel bad for them. Um, but it is Thursday. I'm sure they're going to get really busy this weekend. So for $10, we didn't ride any rides. I still think it's worth it because the petting zoo was awesome. The sea lion show was awesome. And there really wasn't many food choices. It's this, you know, nothing unique. I mean, it was fair food, but you know, I watched too much Food Network, so I was expecting something unique. But overall, the, the lemonade was excellent. Overall, the food, it's what you expect. I just was hoping there'd be something different. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. And I will say if you come and you ride rides, this is definitely, if you want to ride rides, this is the carnival to go to. Get a wristband. We ended up not riding that ride. I think we're going to come back maybe next week with her and get a wristband. Because to just ride that one ride that we liked, the cliffhanger, for both of us buying tickets, it would have been $14. And you can buy an unlimited wristband for $30. So, and there were people buying tickets and I'm like, why are you buying tickets? Buy a wristband. The wristband is definitely a deal. There were so many rides. Like if you are a ride person, it's pretty cool. And they had carnival games, but nothing we like. He likes cornhole. I like coin pushers. Um, so, and the prize, the plush prizes were pretty generic, so not the best prizes, but the games were awesome. What did you think, Robert? Oh, I liked the petting zoo. I liked the baby, um, the baby kangaroos. The baby, baby and kangaroos. And the regular kangaroos were cool, too. They were... Hold on, let me put my They're very on. gentle. Very, very gentle. Yeah, it was definitely... Because we, and that camel we love petting zoos. Too. Even the big camels were gentle. And... and I did like petting zoos. I like the animals. And it was one of the best petting zoos we've seen. I think I have my thing. Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, go towards that guard shack. They're not very clear where the exit is, but that's fine. Um, like that. That's that's funny. I We followed this van in, and they're leaving the same time we're leaving. It's just so hot. It is so hot. And the humidity is crazy. So, and actually, bottled, you can bring in your own water, um, and bottled water was only $2, which is so fair, because I'm used to going to places where they charge 4 or $5 for a bottle of water. Um, but the rest of the food is pretty pricey, let's be honest. One Twinkie for $7, that's a bit pricey, but at least they're fair on water. Overall, was, I, you know, I, I would I recommend it. And, and we might come back and, and ride the rides, because yeah. if you're a ride person, I definitely. I expect the prices it. to be higher. You know, higher. yeah, yeah, I know. I'm you spoiled. Go, when you go to the state fairs, it's expensive. So. Okay, you're right. The prices are comparable to other carnivals. I just was happy that it was only two dollars bottle of water. Yeah. Um, the lemonade was seven dollars, and we still haven't finished. Or was it eight? It was eight. We still haven't finished it. Yeah, like it's a big lemonade. Lion. The sea lions were awesome, and they were all like, I didn't record much because you know, I just you need you know, I, some things I just you need to see in person. Um, and they were all rescue sea lions, so that was that was really cool that they rescued them and now they get to have fun and show off so so yeah this is in st charles it's here for two weeks um but go to their website i am not sponsored paid everything good cash for everything uh, but they travel like i think they're going to Louis louisiana next or they just came from louisiana they're going somewhere like they're here for two weeks and then another state for two weeks and another state for two weeks so i have not you know seen it before where they have like that website like that so i thought that was pretty cool so it's like it could be in your area go check out their website anyway did i mention it's hot <laughs> The only bad thing is like it's in St. Louis um, so it doesn't get dark until 8 30 and they're done at 10. I think it would be really cool at night because all the carnival rides lit up they all looked like they would light up like spectacularly so if we come back to ride the rides we're definitely going to do it at 8 so we can get there when it gets dark because I just think riding those rides would be so much more fun 
when it's dark. Doesn't that, don't you I think? Agree. I think it'd be, yeah. So yeah, so they're here. We have they're here for two more weeks. So today was opening night. Just wasn't that busy, but it could be because it's hot. It's July. Middle of the week. Sort it's of. the middle of the week. It's the middle of but you see people aren't in school. No one works. It should be packed. <laughs> it should be packed. <laughs> but the other thing is this family arena. It's not um, in St. Charles. You have to drive to it. You can't walk to it. It's kind of on the outskirts of town. It is. So you have, it's just, you can't drop your kids off. So I think that's another thing. It took us a half hour to get here. So it's not, you know, not the quickest to get to. Cause like when you have a town carnival, like when my sister's town has a carnival, if you just walk to it, it makes it easy. So it could be because everyone has to drive and they charge $10 for parking which is actually very reasonable. Uh, I, it's Six Flags, they charge $35 for parking, so $10 is a deal. But anyway, enough rambling. It was fun, I recommend it, and we will see you later.